are here at Bachman Trains with Doug Blaine, who's Vice President of Marketing. How are you? Very well, thank you. And yourself? Welcome to the Bachman booth. We're happy to have you here. We are, we are so happy to be here, and I'll tell you why this is special for me. Because when I was a kid, this is going pretty far back, the one thing I wanted was a train set. And you folks make some great trains. Well, we have you covered here at Bachman. We're known for uh, a lot of ready-to-run train sets for people who are just getting into model railroading, as well as a great line of more sophisticated hobby products for those who are dedicated to model railroading. Uh, we like to say, get a hobby for life. So from the first set to more sophisticated railroading, we have it all. We have it all. The trains are terrific. The detail's amazing. Can you show us some of the... Uh some of the trains that you want to feature? I'll just, I want to start out with what we're, uh, I'm holding in my hand here. This happens to be a complete ready to run HO train set. Uh, and it's in the, uh, uh, it's a Walt Disney set. And it's uh, modeled after the train that actually ran around Walt Disney's home in California. So it's always a perennial good seller for us and uh, we're happy to have it in our line. So that's just one of the sets in HO scale. We have many others. And I'd like to show you some other sets in other scales as well. Something special for the railroad enthusiasts. We've got the Acelo High Speed train. This is, this is Amtrak's Acela Express, and uh, this runs uh, in the Northeast Corridor, but there are fans of this train across the country. This train goes up to 150 miles an hour, and our train does run scale 150 miles an hour. The cars tilt as they go around the curves for passenger comfort, and uh, it's just a real great expression of modern railroading. And this layout was designed by Dave Harrison. He's the train master at Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry. Doug, we saw some HO train, a high-speed train on the other side. Now we're going to see N-Scale. Right. We had the uh, HO-Scale Acela Express 
uh, that we saw earlier, as you mentioned. And I w just wanted to show you this train as well. This is the same train in N scale. So we have a nice, again, the nice high-speed train. And it's an interesting uh, example of the size comparison to uh, the different model railroading scales. This train is an HO scale model, and this is the N scale model that you see uh, here behind you for the Acela. I just wanted to point out that we do have complete ready to run train sets in N scale, and everything you need to start a model railroading adventure in the smaller size. Train track, power pack, you're ready to go. Once again, we're here with Doug, Vice President of Marketing for Bachman Trains. And like I said before, these trains are the real deal. We are here with the communications manager of Bachman Trains, Jack. You folks have an enormous array of all different kinds of trains. And something that caught my eye is you have some fantastic detailed turn of the century trains. Tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, we're very proud of these products. These are large scale garden railway products. They are 120.3 scale based on narrow gauge prototype. Uh, all of our products are built to run outdoors. As I say, they're weather resistant. Uh, they can be run with DCC, which is digital command control or regular analog control. There's some real history behind some of these trains and Jack's holding one of these models. Tell us a little bit about it. This, uh, this is a, a 260 Mogul locomotive. This is the type of locomotive that built America. It basically is uh, the type of locomotive used by, say, the Union Pacific and Central Pacific Railroads when they bridged the gap between East and West. What years are we talking? That would be about the 1860s, late 1860s, 1870s. Just looking at these trains, the detail of your trains are amazing. The detail's exquisite. This is our Spectrum line. As you notice, it has all fine piping, separate brass, handrails, uh, very beautiful paint job. A finished railway landscape would not be complete without accessories. Tell us a little bit about these. These are great. This is Bachman's newest product line. It's called Scenescapes, comprised of landscaping materials like grass mats, trees, foliage, plus figures. I believe personally that one of the greatest things you can do to your railroad is to make it personal. And that means choosing figures that tell a story. And we've done that. We've put together little scenes such as maintenance workers, cats and dogs, policemen, and things of that nature. So when you're all finished putting your track down, you can put your grass mat down, put your buildings down, and then finish it off with people. When you put figures on your layout, it gives people a good idea of, of size comparison with locomotives and buildings, and it, it's a general point of reference. Adds all the realism that, that really makes it look good. Correct. Bachman Trains also has a great line of O-Gauge trains. Tell us a little bit about it, Jack. Our uh, O-Gauge trains are sold under the label Williams by Bachman. Williams being a major manufacturer of three rail O-Scale trains for many years, uh, and Bachman acquired the tooling and the name Williams uh, about two years ago. And now we produce O-Gauge sets with track, transformer, trains, cars, plus we also produce individual items such as trolleys and so forth. They look great. Thank you. How about some digital command sound control? Well, trains, 